The COVID crisis has propelled vitamin D status into the limelight. We know it's a problem. Stats suggest that up to 75% of the population are vitamin D insufficient. And if your levels are lower, you'll be hit harder by colds and flu and corona. The usual suspect for the problem is lack of sunlight exposure. And for many of us living in our indoor worlds, this is an issue. But it's not all of the issue. Since vitamin D is by its very nature fat soluble, being particularly well endowed also lowers vitamin D levels when supplies become trapped inside fat cells. Aish. But for the most part, vitamin D levels are tied to the sun. And as I said before, this is a problem if you're living indoors. But it's also a problem if you're living at higher latitudes. There just isn't enough sun to get the job done. Ouch. So did Mother Nature make a mistake and doom the clans of humans brave enough to migrate away from tropical rainforests to this blight? Of course not, you say. This is why people who live in these higher latitudes are paler shades. Problem sorted. Well, it probably helps, but it's not a comprehensive solution. Paler skin helps you to make more when the sun is out and about. But it's not all that helpful when the sun is not about. So, did Mother Nature slip up? No way. She made a plan. The more you move, the more vitamin D you'll have. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we discover how to access your secret vitamin D stash even when you live in a no-sun zone for part of the year. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Scientists are just beginning to unravel the vitamin D conservation plan Mother Nature built into our biology. Figuring out all the details is a work in progress, but it is increasingly clear your vitamin D status is muscle bound. Literally, vitamin D is being stored in your muscles and released into the circulation to keep your vitamin D status sufficient even in the middle of a freezing cold winter in the northern latitudes. All it takes to get your hands on this resource is a vigorous bout of exercise. So let's look at what we know. Vitamin D floats in the circulation bound to vitamin D binding protein. Well, sort of. You've got an awful lot of vitamin D binding protein during the rounds, but a very small fraction of it is actually bound to vitamin D. We're talking around 1 to 5%. And the vitamin D binding protein is not particularly tough and durable. It lasts on average about three days. The liver is continuously churning out the stuff. Now having said all of this, vitamin D's ride is not your average set of wheels. What makes it special is it's able to hook up with actin. This is the protein that makes muscles contract. Uh, it is a somewhat odd superpower and scientists have postulated that it helps to mop up actin spills arising from muscle breakups, which inevitably happen when muscles work out, thus protecting you from clotting. Now, this may very well be true, but it's not its main role. The actin it's going after is the actin inside a healthy, happy muscle. Yep. Vitamin D binding protein hangs out inside muscles. Think of it as an off-road vehicle. It's going off-road into the muscle. 
and then mm, getting stuck on the actin muscle fibers. Now, the stuck is not deliberate. It's part of the fun as vitamin D races up and down nooks and crannies in the muscle, blazing new trails. Unfortunately, when you go off-road, it's easy to run into trouble, even in vehicles designed to navigate such hazards. When you hit a swampy strip, you wind up sinking floorboard deep into the mud and come to a complete stop. Now, vitamin D is not MacGyver. He's a playboy with zero engineering skills. When his beach buggy gets stuck, he stays put and waits to be rescued. Now, the speed of the rescue depends on how much muscle remodeling is happening. In active muscles, remodeling happens after a workout. So, vitamin D is able to keep moving. He rides his buggy until, well, it runs out of fuel. Then he ditches it. I did say he was a playboy. Apparently, filling up with gas is too much like hard work. He heads out of the muscle to catch a new ride, and the muscle's cleanup crew, well, they dispose of the chassis. Since the liver is always making vitamin T binding protein, finding a new ride is not challenging, and the plus, vitamin D is released back into the circulation again and again. Studies suggest that one vitamin D molecule can keep circulating for on average 89 days. So provided you are replete at the start of winter, you can make it through the dark days of winter without a vitamin D crisis. But you do need to move. Muscle remodeling is rather limited in sedentary muscles. So, well, it can take a long wait. And in this scenario, the vitamin D just doesn't circulate. And shortages happen. And those shortages have consequences. The body is storing vitamin D in two places. The muscle store is easy to access. The fat store, well, not so much. It only comes out when you burn those fat stores. Low vitamin D levels are increasingly being associated with bad body chemistry, not just lack of sun exposure. The vitamin D conservation plan explains this phenomenon. You see, less muscle and more fat will make vitamin D levels thin in the blood. Now, the vitamin D conservation plan suggests simply shoving more vitamin D in is not the solution to keep your levels adequate throughout winter. You need to get moving. Use biology, not supplements, to keep levels adequate throughout winter so you create better body chemistry and better health. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry or need a little help getting your body chemistry on track? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com. Browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who's worried about their vitamin D status during the deep, dark days of winter. Share this video with them so they realize Mother Nature has their back as long as they keep moving. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.